avl tree uh, the last class i just uh, introduced the idea so what the motivation of this three people adelson welski landis is so they see that there is a problem with the binary search tree even though binary search tree reduces the time consumed for search operation drastically by one uh, by half uh, if the order of data items that is to be inserted either in increasing order or in decreasing order if it has a certain order then you can find that it is a kind of skewed in nature that is right skewed left skewed like that uh, nature it is there yeah. so in that sense uh, the binary search tree is also consuming similar time when compared with the linear search also if you look at it that height is very large and it is not uh, uh, in a balanced one so what these three uh, guys uh, planned is they want to uh, make the height compact as possible uh, and the for which they introduce a factor called a balance factor and that balance factor is nothing but uh, you have to compute for every insertion operation for every insertion operation while constructing the tree remember for every insertion operation that is for every node that you are going to insert to form a tree according to the binary search tree property what is the binary search tree property each node should have a maximum of two child node that is the property of binary tree and the second point is uh the the value of the node that is to be left side of the root node should be lesser and the value of the node that is to be right side of the root node should be greater so these are the two properties the first property is the property for binary tree so if the property of the binary tree is been added with this left lesser right greater that property then the two property is hold good for binary search tree in addition to this two property that is binary tree property binary search tree property here one more property is introduced that is whenever you do insert whenever do you insert you please ensure that no more than two branches is not possible and you should ensure that if the value is lesser than the root node or lesser than the parent node it should go in the left side otherwise it will go in the right side and the third important point is whenever you insert you should compute the balance factor so how to compute the balance factor it is nothing but the difference of height between the left subtree as well as right subtree so if that computed height difference value should be in any one value that is either 0 or 1 or minus 1 if that balance factor value is any one of these three value then the tree is said to be in a balanced tree so if the tree is a balanced one so irrespective of the order of items whether it is in a, it is increasing order or decreasing order the tree that you are going to construct will always consume half of the time when compared with the uh, linear search that is your objective of binary search operation is fulfilled by introducing one more property so hereafter while considering the avl tree you should go for three properties two branches maximum left value uh, left value should be lesser than the uh, then and uh, right value should be greater than the root node and the third one is balance factor of every node should be either zero one or minus one so this is the three thing <coughs> here one problem arises what is the problem is See, when you are going to construct a tree, uh, that means when you are inserting a node, so you will check for branches and you will check for a value. But while you are checking for the balance factor, the third thing, the third thing, while you are checking for a balance factor, you may encounter a problem that the balance factor is not in any one of the three values, 0, 1, minus 1. If it is beyond minus 1, that is minus 2, minus 3, or if it is beyond 1, that is a 2, 3, like that, then you said that the tree is not a proper height balanced tree and you need to do an operation called rotation operation in order to make the tree as a balanced avl tree so while doing the rotation operation there are several cases are possible 
in case of insertion the possible rotation are single rotation and double rotation while you are going to insert a node to a tree and the node that is to be inserted to be is uh, inserted in the left side of the left uh, sub tree that is root node you are comparing the value it is lesser so you go for left side and in that left side in the path with the parent also you are comparing and it is going taking the left side so it is left to left that is shortly say that ll if that is the situation you should do a single rotation likewise for rr right side to right side but when you case for go for left side but the right side left side of the root node but as a right side of the parent node that is ll right child of the uh, root node but as a left child of the parent node that is the r so for that two situation you should go for double rotation likewise when you are going to delete a node when you are going to delete a node again uh, the balance factor is getting disturbed the tree won't be looking like a height balanced tree in that situation also you should do uh, some kind of rotation and those rotations are labeled as r not rotation r1 rotation r minus 1 rotation so uh, with respect to insertion you have four rotations that are divided into two different categories single rotation and double rotation and with respect to deletion you have three rotations that is r not r1 and r minus 1 so we are going to see each and every rotation with the generic diagram first as well as with that example diagram or example illustration uh, for the generic diagram with respect to a different kind of rotation first let me take the ll rotation so look at the tree here you have your root node a and for which uh, you have a child node uh, b in the left side and uh, some sub tree in the right side for the b left child you have two sub trees bl as a left sub tree of b br as a right sub tree of b now you are going to insert x into bl so what is this kind of rotation left side left so obviously the new node x that is to be inserted is this side so if you want before insertion you should ensure that whether the given tree is height balanced tree or not so what is the how the height of b is calculated height of left sub tree minus height of right sub tree what is the height of left sub tree since the bl is the leaf node as well as br is the leaf node its height is 0 so 0 minus 0 that is equal to 0 likewise come here so what is the left side uh, height b is at the height 1 and uh, bl is at the height 2 so left side is 2 height right side you have one sub tree that is a that is the left right side height is 1 so 2 minus 1 that is 1 2 minus 1 that is 1 here so originally the tree is a balanced tree now after inserting the node x so node x is inserted here node x is inserted here now how the height will come uh, after insertion you have to compute the height now so in the left side you have x as one height this is bl this is bl right this is bl as another height so let's say how many heights too many two heights and right side you have br right and that br is at one height but yes so 2 minus 1 will give you 1 so the tree node b is at height 1 the node b is at height 1 now take the node a now take the node a now a if you want to uh, calculate the balance factor so b left side b is at height 1 bl as height 2 x is at height 3 so how many height three heights right side you have only ar 3 minus 2 so sir 3 minus 1 you have 2 so the 2 is an acceptable value no what are the acceptable value 0 minus 1 and 1 these three are all the acceptable value for the balance factor so 2 is not a acceptable value so what you have to do so you have to rotate you have to rotate the tree you have to rotate the tree how to rotate the tree the rotation is conducted in such a way that b should come to root node see it is rotated like this b it should rotate in the like so b is coming the top so a is coming down a is going oh, a is coming down this ar will become again ar but what about this br this br will become the al this br will become the al so that is the way you have to rotate right so this is the lr rotation ll rotation so a yeah, see i think well, let me give it uh, explain it with an example uh, you have 96 uh, 85 let's say 85 85 let's say 
right side of 85 is 90 right side of 96 is 110 now what what is the value you are going to insert you are going to insert 36 36 number 36 so 36 value you have to insert so before that you have to insert the height so 64 left side 0 right side 0 so 0 minus 0 you have 0 90 left side 0 right side 0 so 0 minus 0 that is equal to 0 85 left side 1 right side 1 so 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 96 left side 1 2 2 minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that is 1 so 110 uh, 110 left side you have uh, left side you have 0 and uh, right side also you have 0 right side also you have 0 right so what is the value you got you got so you got zero you got zero right so uh, what are the values of every node the balance factor values of every node is zero here zero here one here one zero here zero here so it is well within these three values zero one minus one so that tree is a balance factor. now we are going to insert 36 after inserting 36 let me check the balance factor so where, where is where you have to insert the 36 you are checking with the 96 so it is less share so you are going with the 85 here you are checking with the 85 again it is lesser so you are checking with the 64 again it is lesser so you are inserting in the left side of 64 right now say 36 holds the position whether you leave the tree as such or not if it is a binary search tree you have to leave the tree as such but since it is a avl tree you have to check whether all the uh, nodes have the balance factor as per the norms or not if it has the balance factor as per the norms, then you should leave it. Otherwise, you should do rotation. So, what is the balance factor for? So, we have to calculate the balance factor. What is the balance factor for 36? That is 0 minus 0, 0. 64, 1 minus 1. Uh, sorry, 1 minus 0. That is equal to 0. 85, uh, right side 1, 2. Right? 2 minus right side 1, 2 minus 1, 1. Here in the left side, you have 1. 85 is at 1, uh, 64 as a 2, 36 as a 3. So 3, they say minus 1. So it is a 2. So in one time, you have 0 minus 0, 0. So this is the uh, unbalanced situation due to insertion. So how, how the insertion is conducted? The insertion 36 is inserted in the left side of the left uh, subtree. So what is this uh, rotation is about? This is LL rotation. So what do you have to do? You have to designate the root node as A and this immediate child as B. Now what do you have to do uh, after designating this? You have to move the B as a root node. You have to bring the A downward. So we'll bring A downward. This one turn is like that. This B R. This this is B R. This B R now should become what? A L A. Right? This ninety. See? A comes down. One turn. Now, if you call in the balance factor, what is the 36? The balance factor for 36 is here left side 0, right side 0, 0 minus 0, 0. For 64, left side 1, right side 0, uh, right side 0, that is 1. For 85, left side uh, you have 2, right side you have 2, so 0. For A, you have left side 0, right uh, left side 1, right side 1, so you have 0. For 90, you have left side uh, 0, right side 0, 0 minus 0, 0. For uh, one turn, you have left side zero, right side uh, zero, so zero minus zero. Okay, it is zero. Right. So now, if you look at all the values, all the values are well within the balance factor values as per the norms. So this is a balanced AVL tree after LL rotation. So this is what you have to do the rotation operation. When you find any disturbance is there with respect to insertion operation in terms of balance factor, right? Uh, let me go to the another example that is another uh, concept that is rr rotation what is rr uh, right subtree right child so you are going to insert an element in the right subtree in the right child right so the given scenario is you have a root node a and you have a child node b in the right side and for the right child b you have a left child bl and right child br and for the root node a you have a left child a now what you are going to do is you are going to insert x you are going to insert x so where the insert x is inserted see as per the rotation rr right so now so right side right side that is br right side it is going to insert in the br right side or left side that is uh, that is not a question here but uh, right side right side that is the uh, thing you need to remember so after that what you find is you find that there is an unbalanced situation 
So every time I need not illustrate uh, how to calculate the balance factor. So it is understood that. So now the balance factor is getting disturbed. So what do you have to do? You have to rotate. That is RRP. So that is going to bring V to the root and A to the down. That is in the left side. Well, bringing A to the left side, AL holds the same position, whereas BL now is going to become AR after rotation. See, this BL is going to become AR, AOR. So B is now become root node, B R X. So this is the resultant tree after R rotation, right? Let me uh, check with an example. So this is the original tree. The 34 is the root node, 26 is the left side, 44 is the right side, 40 is the left side of 44, 56 is the right side of 44. So what is the element you are going to insert? 65. So where you, so originally the tree is a balanced one. So if you are going to insert 65, you are comparing. So it is compared with the 65, then it is compared with the 44, then it is compared with the 56, then uh, it is uh, compared with, then it is to find the suitable position, that is, it should be the position of right side of 56. Because 65 is greater than 60, 34, so it go right side. It is for greater than 45, it go right side. It is good for greater than 56, it go right side. So since uh, after 56, there is no node, so you insert the 65 here. So what kind of rotation, since it is uh, attached to the right side of the right chain, what kind of rotation? It is RR rotation. So you have to designate the node, the root node as A, the immediate side as B. So what do you have to rotate? You have to make 44 as a root node and this uh, B L, that is the left child of B, should go to right child of R, that is A R. Right? See? Now the A becomes a root node. So here you may, if you calculate one node by node, definitely there is an unbalanced situation. And after this rotation, if you calculate the no, no, nodes balance better, it should be in the balanced form. So this is for RR rotation. Next, uh, another uh, principle is LR rotation. So LR rotation, the general diagram uh, keeps track of three uh, generic nodes, A, B, C. So this is the given tree, uh, A, B, C. So you have a root node A, for which the left child is B, for which the right child is C, and B is having a left child B, L, C is having a left child C, L, C is and a right child C, R, and A is having a right child I, R. So this is the original tree. Original tree. Now what you are going to insert is, you are going to insert X. So as per the norm, as per the uh, name of the rotation that is L, R, left side of the root node, and the right side of the parent node. So it comes the left child and the right side. Right side is C, right? So in that C, either you can insert in the left right. That is not a day bother. So it is coming in the left side and it is going in the right side. So that is what the idea. Mm -hmm. So if that is inserted here, that is inserted. So what do you have to do? What do you have to do? Right. What you have to do is you have to make uh, C as the root node and bring A downward. By bringing A downward, CR will become what is that? Uh, AL and CL will become BR. So that is a change. BR and this X is attached to BR. So that is the idea here. So A C is uh, coming to the root node that is in the C. C is in which level? This is at zeroth level. This is as first level. This is so the node which is in the second level will come to zeroth level. So this is come down, this A comes down. So A comes down, B is there. While A comes down, so if C goes to the, the top, so what about its left child and right child? Left child should be B's right child. Left child should be B's right child. And its right child should be A's left child. Since the element X is added in the uh, uh, left side of the C, it is now uh, there with the right side of B after rotation. So this is a general LR rotation. Well, let me take for an example. So here you have 44 to the left 30, to the left 16, to the right 39, 44 to the right 76. So originally it is a balanced tree. You are going to insert 37. Where you have to insert 37, 37 is lesser. So it goes to this node. 37 is greater. It goes to this side, 39, uh, right side. So 37 is lesser. So it is inserted here. It is inserted. So this rotation seems to be a uh, left side of the root node, but in the right side of the parent node. So LR rotation. So what you have to do? Uh, you have to designate the node. This one is A. This is as B, and this is a C. What is you have to do? This C holds the root position, and A comes down. 
If C holds the position A comes down means then the C's left side that is about to insert will become the A's left side. A's left side. Sorry, yeah, C uh, right child only will become A's left child, but is A C right child? That's what's gender diagram, right? C is a right child, C R only will become the A's left child, but we have C is left child. So C is a left child will become the B's right child. So C is a left child will become the A's right child. So this is what you have to do. So 39 will go up, 49 will come down, 49 because 76 is a right child. It doesn't have any left child because the C doesn't have any right child. C's right child will become A's left child after rotation. But since C doesn't have any right child, it won't be there for A left child uh, as, uh, as per the after rotation. So this is the answer here. Now if you calculate the balance matter, definitely all are in the balanced form. Next to rotation is RM. That is the right side of the root node in the left side. So you have the generic diagram as A, B, C. So what when you are going to insert uh, any so the initial condition is like that uh, A has one left subtree, C has one left subtree and right subtree, B has right subtree. So this is the initial condition of the uh, balanced AVL tree. Now what you are going to insert is you are going to insert a node X. You are going to insert a node X. While you are inserting a node X, while you are inserting a node X. So what is the situation it is happening? Some disturbances in terms of balance factor is happening as well as the height seems to be unbalanced. So in case the in this case, what you have to do is again, you should bring C as the root node and you should bring A left side. When you bring A left side, this uh, left side of the CL, CL now changes to AR. Right. So what about CR? Because since C goes to root node, CR, CR, CR now becomes CBL. CR now becomes CBL. See, this is the case. So this is a scenario uh, you should do uh, when the case of oral rotation, when the balance factor is disturbed because of inserting a node in the right subtree of the root node and the left side. So the generic diagram is such uh, like that. You have 20. Its left side is a 10, and uh, it is 50 here, and it is 35, 50. So this is the generic diagram. This is, so generic diagram seems to be a balanced tree. Here, if you want to insert 25, when you want to insert 25, the 25 is inserted in this location because it is comparing. It is greater, and here I think there is a mistake. The 50 should not be here like this. I think. Uh, yeah, yes, correct. So, if you want to disturb that, what you have to do is since it's a C, it is going in the root side. So, if it is going in the root side, it comes down, it comes down. So, this particular node will attach, this particular node will attach to the right side of the node. So, when it is attached to the right side of the A, what is that? This 38 will attach to the left side of the B, left side of the B. So that is the genetic diagram is saying to us. So once you do this operation and the tree after uh, rotation of this uh, kind of alternate, alternate rotation is something alternate arrangements. When doing the alternate arrangement, you should focus on uh, at the maximum two branches should be there and as well as the balance factor should be uh, as well as the, the property. What is that left side lesser, right side greater that property. And after that, only the third property, the balance factor calculation for each one should satisfy. So this is the uh, fourth case, that is oral rotation. So these are the four cases you should think about while doing the insertion or while constructing the AVL tree. AVL deletion. Here you have uh, three uh, kind of uh, situation. That is a rotation free deletion, R0 uh, rotation, R1 rotation, and R minus one rotation, right? So let me come to the first case, rotation with deletion. See, when you are deleting a node, the entire tree's balance factor is not disturbed. So then no need to do any rotation. Say, for example, if it, this is the given tree, this is the given tree. In this given tree, you are going to delete a leaf node. So leaf node, uh, say, for example, leaf node 30, if you want to delete 30, delete 30. If you delete 30, see, delete 30, the tree is again a balanced one. So no need to rotate. Deletion of your node, deletion of your node with a single subtree. So you, are, you need to delete your node, but with a single subtree. That is if you want to delete 25. So now you remember the 30 is there. So it is not the output of this tree to this tree. Again and again, the output is from this tree. So now you remember the 30 is there. Now with the intermediate 30 is deleted. 30 is deleted, 20, 30 is attached. 25 is deleted, then 30 is attached. 
So that case also, that is deletion of your node with a single subtree. Right? Next, a deletion of your node with the both left and right subtree. So this is 15. Delete 15. So then also you have uh, no need to worry about it. The tree is a balanced one. No need to do any kind of rotation operation. But let me take this example. So this is a given tree. So you have 50, you have 30 in the left, 18 in the left, 5 in the left, 33 in the right, 37 in the right, uh, 55 in the right, 65 in the right. So here you are going to, here you are going to delete the uh, node, 65. So if you are going to delete the node 65, you see it seems that this node 65, it seems that the balance better get disturbed balance matter get disturbed. So what you have to do is you need to do a R -R rotation. That is uh, the general the here there is no general diagram. It's a, like a game. Like a game you should do some alternate arrangement. That is you just bring 50 down. 50 down. If B goes to right root node. So that uh, 30, 37 will be, become the left side. Become the left side of A. See? So what you have did? So you just make B as a root node. If you make V as a root node, then 50, 35 will come down. If it goes as a root node, then these two things will be attached as the left side, 33, 37. That is the R0 rotation. So you no need to give name like R0, but uh, uh, with a simple example, you can do this. So why we have the value R0 is sometimes uh, the balance factor value, based on the balance factor value, you can say that uh, so the value is getting changed from uh, uh, one value to zero. If you did the same, see, uh 55 originally uh, some value is there then it is changed to the balance factor zero like that r1 rotation so here the initial situation is you have 76 60 40 like this what you are going to do you are going to delete a so if you are going to delete uh, 30 sorry not a 30 so what you observe is uh you have a balance imbalance situation in the left side so what are you going to do again you make the b as the root node so this two come down 71 is going in the left part see this is r1 rotation this is r1 rotation. so there is no strict and hard rules so only thing you should think about it so if you make this b as a root node uh see here in see, you see uh, yeah yes that's what here the b's uh, balance factor is zero so that's why it is r0 rotation i think so uh this is balance factor r1 uh, is the b's node that is why it is r0 r1 rotation this is r minus one rotation or see the balance factor of b is minus one after uh the insertion operation so what do you have to do is uh, you here in this case uh, r minus one rotation see this is a given tree you are going to delete 40 so in case of deleting the 40 the entire situation is uh, disturbing so what do you have to do you can make a 30 as the root node this is a 29 will be attached to uh, say a b uh, r as we have the right subtree of r this is a 35 will be attached to the a is a left subtree 33 Five less than the left side of it, you have a 33. So that is the situation here. So this part about AVL uh, tree. So what you have to focus is you have to do a rotation operation uh, for inserting as well as the deletion operation in order to ensure that the tree is always a balanced tree in terms of height. So that's what the topic is all about.